What you guys got another video here for you. This one's a basic video on how to port forward or open a port in your router so you can play games like Minecraft and all these other types of games that you want to play online. It may be a case that you want to use um, uTorrent and you want to open up a port for that so you can get uh, maximum download speeds and stuff like that. So let me just show you uh, the pitfalls of what people fall into and how they have problems with it. I've had loads of emails or loads of messages from people to make this video but I've been putting it off because it's pretty basic. But we'll go through the motions anyway. So as you can see the first thing you need to do is find out your IP for your router and also uh, the admin and password for it. So if we go to start on your button, go to control panel here and go to network and internet here or you can actually look at this icon and go to network and sharing center I'll just go back to this one and go through this way just to show you both ways okay and this is the bit we're looking at local area connection we want to click on there and then we want to click on details and this is going to give us the details of our network here and as you can see we're looking for a default gateway and this is our IP for our router here okay and there's also the IP address which is what we're going to be using as well so take note of these two and once you've done that we can now log on to the actual menu now if you don't know where to get this details you can actually look on the back of the router as well and there will be an image on the screen now which shows you um, the back of the router and it will give you some information on there as well if you're still having problems you can use sites like this now this uh, routerpassword.com you just pick your router which you've got and we're just going to pick one at random here we'll just say D-Link or something like that and then you click on find passwords and this will give you all the username and password for that okay you just pick your version and it will give you the details for default now if this has been changed by a technician or yourself and you've lost the details it's either resetting it with the little pin at the back which is a picture on the screen now to push reset and rebuild it all or you're going to have to use some program to try to get the username and password from that router okay I'm not going to cover that in this video okay another way that people may get stuck with which might help them is portforwarding.com or portforward.com I should say now you get the router list and we're just going to pick one at random here uh, let's just uh, go to one of these links this one's here and then we're going to come up to the top and say skip advertisement so what we're going to do is come down to the uh, Minecraft we're going to use that as an example Minecraft server click on that and this will now give you the details how to do it for that particular um, router that you've got there okay and you'll see just following the instructions really so as you can see here it's giving you the actual default uh, password is a admin and you just click OK so you don't put anything in for the username you leave it blank and it will let you log in as long as you haven't changed anything and as you can see this is the number we need 25565 and you need it for both protocols okay so let's log on to ours now I'm going to come up the top here I'm going to go 192.168.0.1 that's the actual IP for my router and now I need to put in my username and password now I've changed mine but yours may be the default one and if it is then you can use that okay and I'll put my uh, password in there and this will allow us to log on to our router now we need to go into advanced settings here now once we're inside here this as you can see it's a Netgear router but it's just got the uh, background of a Virgin Media router so we're just going to go inside here and go to port forwarding on the left hand side click on that and as you can see here we've got the options to add custom uh, rules so all we need to do here is put Minecraft 
like so for the name and then we need to put the port in now that was 25565 again we're going to put 25565 we're going to have it on both protocols and remember the IP I told you which was to do with and you can see it up the top here they've put one up the top so we're just going to actually go like this and then add this it's now added that Minecraft um, to the list okay active uh, folding rules or ports for that okay and all we need to do now is save this and come out and that part's been done and it gives you the instructions here as well on how to do that okay it's pretty straightforward so let's come out of here okay so another problem that you may have which is you may have internal firewalls like this software firewall that you've installed and if you have done that you may have problems now what you've got to look for is a this little uh, image up on the screen now if this does this and asks you do you want to allow this out then you must say yes and remember my answer and that will let you go out and let you connect to the internet okay now if you say no to that then it's not going to work and this firewall is going to stop it this is another problem that people face now you can actually open a port up here as well you go to firewall and then you go to network uh, security policies if you open this up you'll start seeing a load of applications and stuff down here and you can see global rules and also uh, port sets and if you go on port sets you can actually add in a port set if you wanted to and add that in or add a new port and as you can see here port range and you could add the range in if you wanted to and apply that and that will allow that to go through as well okay so that's how you do it on a firewall this is Komodo firewall they're all pretty much uh, similar where you just need to go into the settings and allow that to go through okay so now we want to test the port and you can do that from any of these types of sites these types of sites will run a scan and see if the port is open and this will actually tell you that you've done the job right okay and you can test that by using a custom port test or game port test or something like that whatever you want and there's loads of these out on the internet and you can run that and see if the port has now been opened okay and that's pretty much it it's pretty basic really but I just wanted to share that with you there's a few guys out there that are in trouble and uh, this should actually help you along your way to getting that port open and getting on and playing games online okay so I hope this has been useful for you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and i'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again guys bye for now